Good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Excuse the bare face, but it's Sunday and I actually tend to not wear makeup on a Sunday if I'm not doing anything because what is the point? It's really important to let our skin breathe. And today I just want to set the tone for the week ahead. So I thought we could actually just spend a few days together because I have quite an exciting week, you know, and I was thinking maybe we could do it together. So Sunday, today, so the time is currently quarter to 12. It's a bit later than what I wanted to go to the gym. It's a bit of a later time than when I wanted to go to the gym, but I've actually been editing all morning. So I haven't been able to, but today is going to be leg day. I did actually tell you guys that I was going to do my leg day on Friday, but that just hasn't happened. And it's now in fact Sunday, which really isn't great because tomorrow is my designated run day. And I just know that's not really a good thing to do leg day right before run day, but I'm just hoping we've adapted and it's gonna be okay, but we'll see. So I'm actually just ready now. I'm gonna need to make my drink and then head to the gym and train legs and get that done. And then I wanna meal prep. I wanna do some other stuff around the house. So let's get going. I always tend to stick to the same gym drink, but I'm kind of feeling like I might branch out. I did order this one. It's raspberry lemonade. So let's try it together because I just feel like when I like something, I stick to it and that's great, but then I start to get bored of it. However, I'm not bored of it, but I just feel like, wow. I am the worst at opening tubs. The only thing I will say about women's best tubs is I can never find the scoop. And then when I find it, I've got wet hands and it just ruins it. But anyways, here's the raspberry lemonade. Oh, I hope this tastes as good as the cherry one. Give her a little shaky shaky. Oh, I like that. God, they're all so good, literally. Why was I so afraid to try that? That tastes really good as well. Before I forget, I'm also gonna take my vitamins for the day. So one of these is a gummy, so it tastes good. Two omega-3s every day, but I just forget I'm so bad. I'm so bad at taking tablets. I'm actually quite sad because Kieran has gone away for the week, so I'm home alone, which is fine, but I do get a little bit bored of my own company. I like it for like two, max three days, but then after that, I'm just, yes, yeah, a little bit boring. Um, but last night I did actually have a solo date night, which was quite cute. I made air fryer pasta. Oh my God, it came out like, unbelievable i'm gonna have leftovers i think for lunch or dinner you know when you think something's not gonna work but then it comes out 10 times better than you expected that's literally what happened and i can't wait to share the recipe with you guys because yeah that is exactly how i'm gonna be cooking my pasta moving forward we are ready i picked up this new key ring yesterday from sainsbury's sorry but how cute is that can't stress how important and helpful it is to film yourself when you're working out and I'm not saying that because everyone should be an influencer or be creating content I completely get that it's not for everyone but filming yourself helps you so much with your form and if you've got good form you're going to see so much physical progress and you're going to be able to progress so much better if your form is correct so when I was doing those cable step-ups 
I watched it back after doing one set and I was going too fast on the way down and really sort of clunking. And then I watched it back and thought, no, I need to change that. So then I redid it, refilmed it and went a lot slower, controlled it a lot more on the way down. And I felt it so much more and my form was so much better. So yeah, here is your note to film yourself next time you work out. And honestly, you don't care about what anyone thinks because everyone's just working out and doing their thing. I honestly don't think I look up when I work out. Like I think I have a resting bitch face. <laughs> I feel like if anyone approaches me in the gym, I'm the most unapproachable person ever because I've got my big headphones on, I'm just getting it done and it's so hard when people come and talk to you because you just want to work out. Obviously, I love it when people come up to me and, you know, want to say hello, but then sometimes, you know, you just want to get in and get it done. But yeah, that was actually a good session. So I'm happy with that. Good Sunday sesh. And I feel like my legs are going to be killing me tomorrow, which is not ideal for our run. That was actually quite a successful trip. I just went to Hobbycraft and to TK Maxx. Found this really luxurious. It has got a couple of like pools on it, but I think I might be able to like chop it out. Yeah, really like thick because the bath mat we have at the moment is just not nice and we are doing our bath mat so I didn't want to spend loads on one, loads on one yet. Um, but yeah, this was $14.99 from TK Maxx. And then I picked up this canvas from Hobbycraft. This is, what is it? 30 by 20 inches. And I'm actually gonna frame this with a black frame once I've done it. But I've been seeing these paintings on Instagram. I think this, well, there's one artist that does them and I really want to replicate it just for my walk-in wardrobe. I kind of love having art around the house that we've done ourselves. I did this one in the kitchen. So I did this one when we first moved in and I just really like it. I feel like it has some sentimental value because A, it's the quote that we love and then obviously I created it. Okay, this is the artist and this is the kind of vibe that I'm going with. I prefer to do it myself and then it's unique obviously it's an inspired piece of art and it would be a lot cheaper i think i think these sell for like nearly 500 pounds which is a lot of money um i bought some red paint as well and then i've ordered some gold leaf stuff off of amazon and i've never done it before guys so this might actually turn out really bad and you might never see it but this and this together was 20 pounds and then the gold leaf stuff on amazon was another 20 so 40 pounds to create it or you can buy it for only 500 so let's see how it goes <laughs> i mean obviously the real thing is probably so much better but i want to give it a go and i think it's good to be inspired by people but yeah that's the artist in case you want to check her out i was gonna meal prep but guys i'm so hungry i'm gonna have my air fry pasta from last night and reheat it i actually can't tell you how good this smells and look at it how good is that Guys, I'm really proud. I'm in my painting outfit, <laughs> but I've made a really good dent in the painting in my wardrobe. I've literally just got this wall here to do. These two finished. I might get Kieran to kind of go over it a little bit. Some of my cutting in isn't the best, but I try, I try. Anyways, I'll show you. This is actually Summer Linen Dulux. And yeah, I kind of love, once we paint the door black, it'll look so much nicer. And then here, <laughs> Oh, this only had one coat, but yeah. I mean, I haven't got much more to do, literally just that. Oh my God, my painting outfit. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How are we doing? So today is Monday. It's a new week. And I'm actually just using this rosemary oil in my hair because it's hair wash day. And I need to leave it in for a few hours, although I'm just gonna leave it in all day, to be honest. On a bit of a hair growth journey, which, when did I get my extensions out? October, November? I honestly can't remember. It's definitely been a journey. Why is taking your hair extensions out, like, losing a part of you? I have, like, good days and bad days with it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, some days I'm like, oh no, it's fine. And then other days I just absolutely hate it. I think because at the moment I'm not going out, I don't mind so much, but if I was going out with my friends and stuff, I would really not enjoy it because you know, I just feel like when I have my hair down, I want like my long blonde hair to feel confident. And I know that sounds really superficial, but it's honestly so true, but I'm working on it. 
Anyway, so I've been on this hair growth journey and I've been using rosemary oil in my hair. I'd say maybe once, maybe twice a week, just depending. And then I use like this massager thing. This is actually from a brand called Rehab, which I really rate. Their stuff is really nice. Yeah, I like massage it in. I mean, has it worked? I don't know. But I've been using quite a few different products, so I think it might just be a combination of everything, but my hair is definitely so much more healthier since taking out my extensions. It's definitely growing quicker, and it's definitely feeling fuller. So that's good. I feel like if I gave it another year, <laughs> Probably be really happy with it. Like recently I've been using the Dyson Air app on it sometimes and I have it down. And some people have been commenting saying that they really like my hair, which is a good feeling. But then, you know, I just don't know. And then all I'm gonna do is just scrape this back. I always use this VO5, it's so good as a gel. Okay, hair done. I'm just gonna leave it like this because I'm going running, so I'm not that bothered. But I used this last night. It is the best face tan, like ever. You mix it with your moisturizer and it comes out really good. I, mean, I really like it. And then I just get some micellar water and then literally just wash it off my face. Morning. I always feel so much better when my face tanned. First thing I always apply in the morning is hyaluronic acid. This is literally gonna run out. In fact, I think it's nearly run out. I swear by hyaluronic acid. It is so good for plumping your face, fine lines, all that kind of stuff. So if you're not using it, honestly, if there's one thing you get, get some hyaluronic acid. I have actually got another one here by this brand. They sent me it out, so I'm gonna try this. Alpha H. I love trying new stuff. Okay, yeah, same texture. Next, we go in with L'Oreal's Vitamin C. Absolutely love this one. It just gives your face like a bit of added brightness. Just makes you kind of come alive a little bit. <laughs> I used to be someone who just stuck to moisturizers as basics, but the serums are where it's at. And then finally, we have the cream of all creams. And it's this Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. This is incredible. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So again, it's like plumping. It just makes your face feel phenomenal. Like if you're gonna get something, oh, this. We are actually getting this bathroom renovated soon and I genuinely couldn't be happier because it's the weirdest shape. And I find it so hard to film in here because it's not really my vibe, but yeah, it's just the weirdest shape. I can't even explain. I do like a bit of a before and after video. I don't know if anyone would wanna see that, but look how glowy. I don't know if you can see that, so not really much natural light, but like my face feels so glowy, I can't even explain, and it's because of that skincare routine. It is run time. Guys, how nice, sorry, the hair is not hairing, but how nice is this jacket? This is actually Fabletics. It's just the best quality. Like I actually can't explain how good that stuff is. But I'm just getting ready now. I've got a little bit of a dilemma though. I've got our bedside table's arriving. Apparently they're gonna be here at 2.20 and it's 12.30, so I'm not gonna be out for two hours. <laughs> but I don't know, I just have like anxiety about furniture being delivered because it either arrives early, it either doesn't arrive or it either arrives broken. And these bedside tables I've been waiting for since, are you ready? Drum roll, <laughs> August? <laughs> What the hell, we're into February. Like, I've actually never had service so appalling from a company. And I just, you know when you've got it in your head that they're gonna arrive and they're broken? That is truly what I believe, so we'll see. Or I'm gonna miss the delivery because I'm gonna be out on my run, but it's fine. We're gonna risk it because I need to get this done. If I, I was thinking about leaving it till after, but I know if I leave it, I'm not gonna go. Like, let's be honest, she, she's not gonna go <laughs> if she leaves it that late. So yeah, we're gonna go now and we're gonna get it done. I'm also so excited because I've ordered a pair of running trainers. I do like my hockers, but they're just so tight. Like they're just too narrow and I know it's gonna cause me problems if I continue to run in them. So I've ordered the Asics Kano 30. I don't have any arches in my feet and apparently they're meant to be the best support wise. 
So I've ordered them. I'm excited. They're in like a really like bright color, which is also really fun. I feel like gym trainers don't really come in them. So yeah, I'm excited for them. I'm gonna use them next week because they're not here yet. So we're just gonna have to wait. But anyways, let's get going. Let's go on my run. Let's see what we can do this week. first two kilometers because i had the world's worst stitch i can't even tell you how painful that was and i never get stitches oh <laughs> but anyways got it done i feel good oh wow she's sweaty it's good that i am washing my hair today to be honest with you oh i don't know how i felt about that Do you know what like that yeah the arthur's squeaking i stopped so much less in that run which is great but the first two kilometers i had to stop and walk for like five minutes because because my stomach was in so much pain like oh my god the first 2k i just oh god my stomach i was like holding it like trying to stretch out i think note to self just make sure i eat way before and drink a bit more water but guys i'm proud of myself okay because i have improved again so total distance 4.65 kilometers workout time at 32 21 average heart rate 165 which is i think that might be the same as last week but my split time apart from the first one it was 7 dot dot 39 but the rest of it was in the sixes and the last one was 403 so yeah i'm quite happy and like i said i walked so much less so that's so much of an improvement to me and i'm excited to do it next week with my new trainers <laughs> and hopefully i won't have a stitch because that really went great so i am long in for the day as to when I run and don't come back looking like a beetroot. Good morning, guys. It is such a beautiful day. You know, you really can't see it. I mean, it is a bit gray, but it's sunny. So that's the most important thing. And I'm so excited because I've been invited on an overnight trip with Batiste. What the hell? So yeah, I've just got ready. I'm just making my breakfast now. It's honestly 11 o'clock and I'm so hungry. I've just got oats with peanut butter. I'm gonna add some jam there. And then I'm gonna finish off my work and head to where we're going. We're actually staying in a spa, which is always fun. And I've been hoping that I would have like a spa trip soon because spas are like such a nice day out and it's so relaxing. I don't know. I just love being in a spa and being like all glowy, having like your skincare done and yeah. So I'm heading there in about half an hour. And then when we get there, we basically just have time to chill. Obviously I'll meet everyone and I'm kind of nervous because I don't know anyone. Um, but that's what also makes it quite exciting. I feel like it's good to meet new people. And I don't think there's anyone else in the fitness industry that's going either, which I always find scary because sometimes I have connections with people, but I feel like I'm not gonna have anything. But yeah, we're gonna do that. Then tonight we've got a really fancy meal. It's formal dress, which I've been panicking about all week because I don't know about you guys, like being a fitness gal, I find it hard to dress up sometimes because I'm just not used to it. I wear leggings and sports bras and hoodies every single day and that is my vibe. So when I get asked to dress up, I'm like, how do I dress? Um, actually bought a new dress for it, which I made sure the dress I've bought, I can also wear in the summer for like my holidays because I'm really tired of buying something for an event and never wearing it again or for something specific. Like I want to be able to multi-wear it and get the most out of it. So I've done that and I'm excited to show you guys because I feel like it's quite a cute dress but i do feel like i might be a bit overdressed but anyways we'll see i'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get going and we've arrived at the retreat guys it's so cute i need to show you my room okay so as you walk in we've got this little coffee area here we've got the batiste new 24 hour active this one looks really good and then we've got this scent as well so i'm gonna be trying these out while i'm here i absolutely love dry shampoo so this is honestly a bit of me then this is the bed this is such like a cute cozy cottage vibes and they've laid out this on the bed for me so we've got a bag from batiste and then oh my god i've been wanting one of these to get ready with for so long and i've finally got one i feel like everyone in the u.s has them but um yeah i don't have one yet and then we've got a little bag got a brush 
definitely always in need of extra brushes. And then finally, a really cute clip. This is the other side of my room. And then looking out onto here, you can kind of see like the rest of the retreat over there. I'm actually gonna go and explore in a minute and just have a look. And then we've got the bathroom, which is really cute. They put Batiste on the mirror, love that. And then, really nice, big shower, toilet. And again, more Batiste products, love this. It's half three and I have to be ready by seven. So I feel like I'm gonna give myself, how long do I need to get ready? Hmm. Maybe if we start getting ready at like half five. So I've got a couple of hours now. I feel like I'm gonna head down to the spa, just have a look around and yeah, hopefully I'll bump into the other girl. <laughs> Just got back from the spa, guys. It looks like I'm naked. I promise you I'm not. Picked up these because they've got a pantry and I'm absolutely starving. Like, so hungry. I honestly get like so, not nervous, but it's always hard at these events because you turn up and you don't know anyone, but it's fine. I've broken the ice. I've met a couple of nice girls, which is great. Yeah, I'm now just gonna get ready for the night and I need to have a shower, do my makeup and stuff. And I wanna film a get ready with me on TikTok because I've been loving filming a bit more on TikTok recently. I don't know. I just feel like it's really easy. I've been filming actually directly on the app. So it's so easy for me to edit and upload and it's just so quick. And I wanna show more of my day-to-day -day life on there as well. So you guys can get to know me a bit more because obviously YouTube, I kind of normally just film one day. Obviously this one's a little bit different, but yeah, I just wanna film more snippets on my life. So if you wanna see my TikTok, head over there as well. But yeah, let's get ready, let's get changed and let's get going for the night. Also actually, before I get in the shower, I wanted to show you this bikini. I got it from a brand called, I think it's called Bayou, the label. I'm pretty sure it's from the Netherlands. I didn't pay import fees or anything, but I am obsessed with the fit of it. Like this, if I could design a bikini, is my perfect bikini. I can't even tell you like, the fit, it's high leg. It kind of sucks you in a little bit here so you don't feel, I don't know, I don't like bikinis that are too low at the front. It's just not me. Um, and then yeah, it's really nice support. And then from the back, it also looks really nice without getting my whole butt on it. But yeah, I really like it. They do also some really nice colors as well. So I'm definitely gonna be buying more. First time trying one of these headbands on. No. <laughs> Guys, I can't. I just don't think it's me. It's too girly. How do people make these look cute? <laughs> I... <laughs> okay, makeup done. I feel like I did an okay-ish job. I filmed it for TikTok. I put the dress on because I need to put the dress on before I do my hair. But this is the dress. I think it's quite cute. I've actually got a dress on underneath, so I'm, I'm not naked. I think it's a really cute dress. Do you know what I mean? Like you could definitely wear this on a girl's summer holiday. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put my hair up in maybe a low bun with some curly bits to the front. All right, we've got the finished look. I've kind of just gone for a low pony and then I curled the front bits. I didn't want anything to statement-y, I don't know. And then I put in these silver earrings, which I actually got from ASOS. I don't actually know if I like them, but I need some earrings, so we're just gonna wear them. And then shoe-wise, we're just gonna put on these silver heels from Zara, but I'm not gonna put them on now because I've got like 20 minutes. But yeah, that is my outfit. I forgot to keep putting this dress on. That's the only thing because the underdress is really short. <laughs> But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.06. Don't know if you can see that. And I have a slight headache, you know. I had two Proseccos and a double vodka Diet Coke. But anyways, I've just had the nicest delivery to my door. Guys, I also had the best time last night. It was so cute. Like the Batiste team are just so lovely. And I had such a good sleep. Like this bed is so comfy, but I didn't go to bed till like half 12. I was just up talking to the girls. It was actually really cute. But anyways, let's open this together. Let's see what is inside. Oh, oh my God cute and exactly what i need right now oh, we have orange juice a fruit salad overnight oats by looks bit the croissant that's one in there <gasps> that is going first and then this is their new active and we got told last night basically what happens is you spray this on your hair before you work out and then when you work out it releases a scent 
to absorb the sweat. So after your workout, your hair smells incredible. I'm honestly like blown away by this product and I cannot wait to put it to the test today. We're doing a bit of a workout. Okay, first things first, we hit orange juice. Cold pressed orange juice. I feel like there's actually nothing better. Lovingly made in Kent. That is where I'm from. Do you know what I love when I go to Spain? The orange juice in supermarkets is another level. I don't know how it's so good. And all you do is put these oranges in this machine and it comes out with fresh orange juice. But it's like the most incredible orange juice you've ever tasted in your entire life. Every time I go to Spain, it's like the first thing I do. Okay, we're gonna attack the blueberry muffin. This is gonna go absolutely everywhere. But anyways, oh my God, look at the size of this. Oh my God. Mm. That is insanely good. Probably not the best thing to eat. Actually, no. We've got two hours for a workout. Mmm. Wow. She's ready to work out. I've <laughs> just got on my women's best fine set. This is in the khaki green. Love this colour. Paired it with some new pants. And then I'm just going to chuck on this Gymshark t-shirt because this is like probably my favourite t-shirt that Gymshark I've ever done. It's the nicest fabric. So thick. And it's just like perfect. I feel a bit bloated from last night. We had, um, it was like fried cauliflower, but it tasted like chicken though. It tasted really good, but it was fried cauliflower. And I can't eat cauliflower without serious bloat. I only ate half of it because I thought if I eat that, I am going to be in a bad way. But yeah, I'm just going to wear this. I think I'm just going to go down like this. I'm actually quite hot. But I've put on some light makeup and I did use that Batiste Active. So quite excited to see if it makes my hair smell really good. But my hair is quite greasy anyway, so <laughs> let's see. <laughs> So it's now the next day. I had the longest drive back home yesterday and I had so much to do when I got back because I had so much work. So I didn't finish off the vlog yesterday. It was a busy day, but I've just had a nice delivery. Make sure my dress is not in there. <laughs> from Women's Best. I thought I'd just show you because it's my monthly order. So I've been wanting to get my hands on these socks for a long time. And they've been out of stock. They're back in now. So if you're looking for some really good quality socks, women's best of where it's at. They are so thick, so stretchy, and I just absolutely love them. So I'm so glad I got some more of those. I actually got three pairs because I'm that obsessed. And then I just stocked up on like my fave nutrition things this month, actually. So you guys know how much I love the cherry BCAs. And then we've got my favorite French vanilla whey. Again, the best protein powder. I honestly get so many people ask me, how do you have protein powder all the, all the time? How does it not upset your stomach? Trust me when I say I've been there. Protein powder is one of those things. If you get a bad quality one, you are gonna be trumping <laughs> and you're gonna have a really painful belly. You need to make sure you get high quality protein. And I know, you know, sometimes it is expensive, but it definitely is worth getting the weight impacts isolate. It will help you so much if you get bloated and don't feel so good on, on protein powder. Then, exciting, I want to get some collagen. So I bought this. It's their collagen peptides and you can literally add it to anything. 20 grams of collagen per serving and it's got hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin C, which is great. Um, skin, hair, nail, joint and bone support. I'm gonna be adding this. I don't know, you can add it to like your coffees, your shakes, whatever you wanna add it to. So I'm really excited for that. And finally, I just topped up on my omega-3 because I take these every day and I'm running out. Yeah, that was my order. Anyways, I'm actually just gonna get this video edited and I really wanted to go to the gym today, but I've got raging, like, you know when you're in a period and you've got really bad back pain? That's me right now. I haven't been to the gym this week, which is really annoying because Monday I went for my run, which is fine. Tuesday I didn't work out because I was at the event and then yesterday we obviously did that workout at the event, but I wanna go to the gym. I'm so annoyed. So I'm like just taking some Feminax, which 
By the way, it's the best thing if you ever get period pain. It helps so much. I'm just waiting for that to kick in and then I'm gonna decide if I can go to the gym. But yeah, thank you so much for watching over the last few days, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the slightly longer vlog. Let me know what you prefer, I don't know. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Code Eleanor Fit if you want to get 10% off of Women's Best, by the way. Best protein. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.